After creating our first program and before continuing and attacking more complex exercises, I wanted to quickly take a look at the code editing area or the ABAP editor. Indeed, you will spend a lot of time in this area and it is important to understand and use it well to save precious time later on. Here we are in our interface and let's analyze its structure together. First, the line number which will help you navigate during debugging, which we will see in a dedicated video. Then, the line currently selected. You can also find different colors, the compressible blocks, the comments, and finally, the specific user setting. Let us detail this last point. Several tabs are available to us to improve our user experience. The first is the display tab to allow us to check the elements we want to display in the interface, such as indicator margin, line number, or structure separator. Then we have the fonts and color tabs. This is where you will configure the display of the different objects such as the line selection color, instructions, comments, and so on. You can also set whether they are displayed in bold or underlined. The next is the con completion tabs. SAP, when you write code, helps you by proposing an auto completion. It finds patterns, words, and suggests the end. To validate its proposal, you just have to press the tab key. Here is an example. We are here in SAP and I want to write the parameter statement just like here. If I write the letters P, A, you can see that a pop-up appears, propose me parameters. And if I click on the tab, SAP writes the statement. These settings will allow you to display the SAP proposal longer or shorter and so on. The next point is the code template. I will open it here and you can see here the code template. So always in the spirit of saving you time, SAP offers you ready-made code templates which you can activate with the K combination control plus enter key when the template is displayed. You can see here different templates such as case or if that we will use just right now. So you can also add, edit different template that you want to use. Here I will write if and you can see a pop-up with a little symbol. It means that we have a template activated. If I enter if and Control plus enter, you can see that SAP writes the statement, the, the template here. Here we are in the formatting tab. This last point assists you in formatting the code, such as automatically capitalizing keywords. The last two being less interesting, we can continue. Previously, we talked about the clean code and the importance of comments. I'm now going to talk about a second notion, which is the presentation of the code. It is very important that the code is standardized and well structured. Here are two examples of code, which do exactly the same thing. I don't need to tell you which one should inspire us. Fortunately, SAP provides us with a very useful function called the Pretty Printer. We are here again in our program and you can see that this code is not really clean. It's a little bit difficult to read. It's not well structured. You have here the pretty printer button to solve this. If I click on it, you can see that SAP well structured the code. You can see the different statements aligned with capital letters and so on. So it's more structure and 
more easy to read. You can customize this part in the utilities setting here. You have the pretty printer tab and you can see the different options such as the indent or convert uppercase, lowercase for the different keyword and so on. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to give us a feedback on this series and tell us if you like the concept. See you soon for our next episode.